Imagine a future where humans are not just visitors to space, but permanent residents, where we can breathe freely, refuel our rockets, and journey deeper into the cosmos than ever before. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, thanks to a groundbreaking experiment aboard China's Tiangong space station, that future might be closer than we think. Recently, Chinese astronauts aboard the Tiangong space station, whose name means Heavenly Palace, conducted a series of experiments that could revolutionize space travel. Using a process called artificial photosynthesis, they successfully produced oxygen and rocket fuel in orbit. Let's break this down. First, let's talk about photosynthesis. You probably remember this from school. It's how plants convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose using sunlight. It's the reason we have breathable air on Earth. But in space, there are no plants. So, how do we get oxygen? And how do we fuel our rockets for long journeys? That's where artificial photosynthesis comes in. Instead of relying on plants, scientists have developed a device that mimics this natural process. Aboard Tiangong, astronauts used a drawer-sized machine equipped with semiconductor catalysts to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and ethylene, a compound that can be processed into rocket fuel. Here's the kicker. This system works at room temperature and normal atmospheric pressure. That's a big deal because traditional methods, like electrolysis, which the International Space Station uses to split water into oxygen and hydrogen, require a lot of energy. In fact, the ISS uses about a third of its energy just to produce oxygen. But this new method, it's way more efficient. And it's not just about oxygen. By tweaking the catalyst, researchers can produce other valuable compounds, like methane or formic acid, which could be used as fuel or even to create sugars. This means astronauts could potentially manufacture the building blocks they need for life and propulsion, all in one system. So, why does this matter? Well, if we're serious about exploring deep space, whether it's Mars, the Moon, or beyond, we need sustainable ways to support life and power our missions. This technology could be a game-changer, making long-haul space travel more feasible and reducing our reliance on Earth for supplies. China's Tiangong space station is proving to be a hub of innovation. With plans for a crewed moon landing before 2030, China is positioning itself as a leader in sustainable space technologies. And while this experiment is just the beginning, it's a huge step toward making the stars a little more reachable. Thanks for watching. If you're as excited about the future of space exploration as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let us know in the comments, where do you think this technology will take us next? Until next time, keep looking up.